Hi, I'm Brad Sugars and welcome to the Business Basics. This really should be the central key to all of the Business Basics, this video here. Why? Because I'm going to talk to you about the purpose of being in business. What is the purpose of a business? Oftentimes when I'm, when I'm sitting with business owners looking at them, what's the purpose of you being in business? You know, they, they say things like to make a sale, to, to make some money, to, to do this. Well, the purpose of business by my definition is actually relatively simple and that's to profitably create raving fans. Now what do I mean by that? Well, key number one to business. Repeat business equals profit. No repeat business, no profit. If, if you want to make profit in business, you must have repeat business because it costs money to buy customers. If you, if you spend a thousand bucks on an ad and you've got ten new customers, it costs you a hundred bucks to buy each customer. Now your job is to keep them long enough so that you can pay back the hundred dollars that it costs to buy that customer. Now how do we do that? Well we'll get into that in more of these videos as you watch more and more of them. But I need to stay focused on profitably creating raving fans. What do we want a raving fan? Well, We don't just want a customer, we want a repeat customer. We don't just want a repeat customer, we want a repeat customer who is an advocate of our business, who talks about us to other people. Someone who we've given a level of service and a level of experience that they promote us and, and almost brag about us to their friends and family and colleagues and people they do business with. You know, it's a really important thing to understand that the raving fan is the purpose of business. But the raving fan without profit is of no benefit either. You know, profit is the key. Profit isn't the, the one thing in business, it's the only thing in business. There is no other score in business. And if you're going to create a great business, you need to have those raving fans. You know, if you were to ask your past customers one question that would determine whether you've got good repeat business or not, it would be simply, would you refer us to your friends? See, if they, if they answer to you anything below a nine, then your service and your experience needs to be created to create raving fans, not just happy, satisfied customers. Satisfied customers don't tell their friends. Satisfied, there are only two types of people that tell their friends unsatisfied and unhappy customers or raving fans. They're the only two groups of people that go and tell their friends about you. See, what's the use of getting a customer if you don't get all the referrals from them? There's no use leaving, leaving all that money on the table with all their friends and colleagues and people they do business with and they could be referring you to. So our goal in business is to profitably create, our purpose in business is to profitably create raving fans so we've got a lot of repeat business and a lot of long-term profit built into our company. Now. What is the purpose of owning a business? Because this is entirely different. See, the purpose of the business itself is to create raving fans with a profit. The purpose of you owning a business, why do you want to own a business? Not to just pay the bills. The purpose of owning the business is to create an excess level of income that you can invest. See, business is about creating income. Business is by far the number one investment on the planet for cash flow returns. I know people have been told that, oh, you should get for cash flow, you've got to make sure that you've got money coming in from property or the stock market is good for it. You know, the, the reality of it is, if I went and bought a 100,000 stock portfolio, if I went and bought a $100,000 property, what cash flow am I looking to get from that? Somewhere between 7 and 11% yield. If, however, I went and bought a business for 100,000, I'd be expecting a minimum of 50 grand a year coming back from that. You know, this is the difference between the two. Business is about creating excess cash so that you can invest that money in more stable, steady things like property, like the stocks, that, well, simply put, they don't take anywhere near as much time. See, the challenge with business is we get a great return, but that's because we have to invest time as well as money into the business. Property, stocks, we just invest money into those, a little bit of time up front, but it's just our money that gets involved and therefore we don't get anywhere near the return we would if we're running a business. So, add the two of them together. To profitably create raving fans in our business so that we can create an excess cash flow that allows us to invest that money to grow a future for ourselves. There's no use being in business if it just pays the bill or a wage to yourself. Your business has got to make enough money so there is a profit, an excess cash, that you can invest. Make sure that you're using both of these when you're making the decisions around your business. We want to see the raving fans, we want to see the profitability, and we want to see that excess cash to generate great investments for you. I'm Brad Sugars and these are the Business Basics.